As long as your children are involved in sporting activities, they're in a world where they try to be the best that they can be. By playing sports, your child will not only become stronger physically, obviously, but mentally as well. And best of all, they'll learn to overcome obstacles and challenges that might come their way, lessons that will serve them throughout their life. Joining us today are owner and head coach at Fitbox Durbel, Garth High, and one of the best coaches, his best coaches, Sir Lance. We'll be discussing the importance of sports and energy development in our children's future. Gentlemen, welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Thank um, you, thank you. Sports development has been a passion of mine, not because I love sport, only because I love sport, but I think we all have a, 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 an appreciation of from a South African context. But I get to see firsthand just how powerful a tool it can be in the development of human beings, even more so as a parent. I'm absolutely loving it. Maybe, Garth, I can start with you. As someone who's lived in this space and obviously gets a lot out of it and is emotionally invested, yeah. what do you think sports does and an active lifestyle at that for a child's development? Yeah, it's crucial. Um, kids have to try to go through some kind of sport. It can be anything just from playing outside uh, with their parents mostly, so kicking a ball around that, or actually joining some kind of sport at school or uh, extramural activity. And for that, it's just going to put them into the right stead, just to keep moving forward with things at school as well. So it, like keeping them emotionally stable as well, getting a sweat on, getting their brain just to calm down and relax. And then from there, you know, go back and then get into class or go back to studying or back to technology. But um, yeah, doing some kind of sport is, is definitely key. And us as South Africans, as you said, we see it all day in, day out of keeping kids active, you know. The funny thing is, we, it's there for all of us to see by virtue of the fact that this country has turned its own kind of psyche around using sport. Yeah. There is an emotional connection. Yeah. So Lance, maybe I can flip the script here a little bit. We know that it's about physical development. It's about getting the physical elements right. But in that process, there's an emotional spin-off. How do you think doing sport and going through that physical and being kind of practical about being physical helps the other areas of your development? Well, I was a shy kid growing up, and it took sport coaches and teammates to kind of get me out of my shell, right? So there's a community feeling you get with sport simply because when you're young, my friends are doing this, and you, you want to join them in those activities, and ultimately you're able to express yourself. And that self-expression allows you to live the best life as a kid and have fun on, on a sporting field. So. Yeah. Completely. And you, and you have these victories. You have these moments. I still go back to those delusions yeah. of grandeur, those rugby games where yeah. we were up against a team that was so much better than us and we found yeah. something. As a team, we clicked, we did something. That one guy played on with a dislocated thumb yeah. and, <laughs> and we won the game and we shouldn't yeah. have done it. And I'm getting goosebumps yeah. just thinking about it. But you get to carry that with you and apply it again later yes. in life when those challenges come. If I think of my clique now, the bunch of hooligans that I still call my best mates, we are best mates because yeah. we went through those moments yeah. of fire together on a field. I mean, now even when I'm training with my friends at the gym, uh, they are my um, uh, members or <laughs> uh, things like that. But I mean, it, it, it's setting me up in my lifestyle as well. When I need a helping hand here, yeah, when I need a, a, a call of favor, whatever it is, I just reach out to those guys. If I think back to my school memories as well, it's not really the studying and the, and, and the exams. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's the rugby game. Hey, man, remember that rugby game we played at Camps Bay and things like that, you know? So it does set you up like that. There is a huge responsibility on your hands is because you've got to make those links between what's going on right now and that future life lesson. So I'm sure you've made those connections yourself. How do you bring that all together and how much fun is that? Yes, doing the sport with these kids, but seeing yeah. them take hold of those life lessons. I think that's the awesome blessing we get as coaches. Um, he just mentioned about how the workouts go. Those challenges you face, or that I've faced, or that we face together as coaches growing up, or as an athlete, when these kids come to you and they don't know how to react to a win or a loss, you know, that's mm. where we speak life into their life, and we tell them this is exactly why we're doing these movements to get better in our functional fitness movements, our mindset. So when it comes to exams, it's that same mindset we are working towards in terms of improving to know that if you put in the work, you will you'll achieve success. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Um, and take the knocks, because you're yeah. going to. You're going to have to fail and fall down and get back up again, and you're going to have to do that repeatedly. Yeah. As a parent, I, I, I suppose, so maybe you can relate, you constantly feel like you're failing your child because yeah. you want to give them the best of everything. And when it comes to sport, there's always that nagging voice, like, I should be out there on the pitch five hours every day because he deserves to be a yeah. It might not necessarily be what he, he wants, wants to, do. Yeah. to do in the long term, but you still want to expose him to all of these sports. So 
That being said, what can I do as a parent to help my child's physical development? I think just try to do as many different things as possible. I mean, my son is four and a half. I mean, he's doing, he's doing cooking, he's doing monkey gymnastics, he's doing swimming. And I'm kind of letting him choose, like, hey, buddy, here's all the different options. And, and just try to keep doing that. And then taking a step back, letting them do it. And then from there saying, okay, he's not actually, like, not enjoying that, let's try something new or give him a different option, you know? It's a cool thing because every single time he's putting in the workouts and his son and daughter get an opportunity to see him do it, so it's cute when you see them drop down into a squat. Like, <laughs> he's leading by example, yeah. so that allows them to want to be fit. So that's, that's the beauty of it. They, they see it they, in that environment. They see yeah. the adults training. And then just over time, they should then just you know, either fill in and want to do it, or maybe take the gymnastics out of the functional fitness you're doing and then go do gymnastics, or take the weightlifting that we're doing out of functional fitness and go do weightlifting. And this is the first lesson. I know we always get to our body after we finish the mental development, and then we only get to the emotional yeah. development, but if we started with the body, then suddenly, as you guys say, you've got these tools that you can rely on in any sphere of life. You guys are amazing, man. <laughs> and you're both <laughs> in such good shape. It's ridiculous, man. He keeps me to it. Have you done your workouts today? Have you done your yeah. workouts today? That's why he's so <coughs> <It's all right. laughs> exactly. it comes with the title. Jens, keep doing what you're doing every Thank day. Thank you very much. Yeah. Beautiful to see this kind of investment in young people's physicality because it leads to emotional and intellectual development. And with a healthy breakfast like Nestle Milo, it is the perfect way to start the day and stay energized throughout that active day, no matter which sports they're involved in or how good they are. And of course, remember, there is an added bonus here. You can win, get this, a sportsman's warehouse trolley dash with 20,000 Rand for both you and your school. All you have to do is simply buy a tin of Nestle Milo, enter the competition by following the instructions, and you can find those T's and C's that apply on their website. Remember, please keep an eye out as well for the Nestle Milo It's Go Time teams at your local shopping center. Put those physical skills to the test. Gents, I'm normally a cold Milo kind of guy, <laughs> but you guys have warmed me up. That was thank beautiful, you. guys. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. thank Cheers. you, thank you. <laughs> It's go time with a cup of Nestle Milo at breakfast. Give your kids the energy to go further.